In this lecture, we're going to be looking at the reactions of benzene. By the end of this lecture, you should be able to explain why benzene does not undergo addition reactions, explain why benzene is prone to electrophilic attack, and recall the conditions required for benzene to undergo the following reactions. Alkylation, nitration, sulfonation and halogenation. So now we're going to look at the chemical reactions of benzene. Now, as we saw in the previous lecture, benzene does not contain carbon-carbon double bonds, so it isn't going to undergo addition reactions. However, the benzene ring is very rich in electrons, and so that's going to leave it open to attack by electrophiles. So basically, all the reactions we're going to look at can be summed up by this simple picture. The electrophile, which could be a positive ion or just the slightly positive end of a polar molecule, swaps with one of the hydrogens attached to the bending ring uh, and displaces it or substitutes it. So all the reactions we're going to look at are electrophilic substitution reactions where the hydrogen atom is substituted for an electrophile. So there's going to be four reactions that we're going to look at. I'm not going to look at the mechanism in any detail, but what you have to learn is what the reactants are in each case. So the first reaction is a nitration reaction. And in this case, the chemicals, the reactants, that you need to use are nitric, a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid. If you mix together nitric and sulfuric acid, you produce the nitrate ion, the NO2 plus ion. So the NO2 plus ion is the electrophile, so it swaps for one of the hydrogens and you produce this aromatic substance. So you just need to remember if you want to put it on NO2, it's a mixture of nitric and sulfuric acid you have to use. How about adding a halogen? Well, in this case, you're going to use Cl2 and iron chloride catalyst. So the iron chloride is a catalyst here. Uh, we're using Cl2. If it was another halogen, you know, it would be Br2, I2, etc. So, the electrophile in this case is a slightly positive end of a chlorine molecule. Of course, a chlorine molecule is perfectly non-polar, so how does this arise? So, here's my bending ring, very rich in electrons, and as a non-polar chlorine molecule approaches it, you get this induced polarity. We came across this in the halogenation of alkenes. As it approaches this electron rich area, the electrons in the covalent bond are shoved onto towards the far away chlorine, which becomes slightly negative. So this chlorine becomes slightly positive and becomes the electrophile for the electrophilic substitution. Uh, the FeCl3 is just a catalyst for the process. So the product of the reaction is you've placed a hydrogen with a halogen, in this case chlorine. Sulfonation. In this case the reactant is concentrated sulfuric acid. So you need to be careful, you know, the nitration it was a mixture of sulfuric and nitric. The sulfonation is just sulfuric acid. <coughs> the electrophile is SO3H plus and that swaps with a hydrogen to produce that product. And the final reaction is an alkylation. So this we add an alkyl group. So 
The alkyl group I'm adding is a metal group. So I've got CH3Cl here. If I wanted to add an ethyl group, it'd be CH3CH2Cl, etc. And aluminium chloride is a catalyst. The electrophile in this case is a slightly positive CH3. So if we just look at that again, well, The CCL bond is polar, with the chlorine being having a higher electronegativity. So there's always going to be a slightly positive charge on that carbon atom of the alkyl group, and that's what acts as electrophile. So the product of that reaction here is this is toluene, which we came across earlier on, and this is a very useful reaction actually. It's a uh, we can go on and make many useful products from it. Okay, so there are the reactions of the aromatic hydrocarbons or the benzene ring, really. So it's just a matter of remembering they don't undergo addition reactions, they undergo electrophilic substitution reactions, and remember the reagents you have to use to carry out those four reactions. So by now you should be able to explain why benzene does not undergo addition reactions. You should be able to explain why benzene is prone to electrophilic attack. And recall the conditions required for benzene to undergo the following reactions. Alkylation, nitration, sulfonation and halogenation.